Okay, uh, if I could have everybody's attention. We'll try to make this as short or long as possible. It's really up to you. This is going to be highly interactive. We have a little bit of structure, but otherwise the goal of being up here is to listen. So we'll come up with some topics, ask some questions, but we really want to listen. So if you have something that's burning on your chest and you want to ask the question, this is your time. Uh, so I'm going to take that world, of, that massive universe of all questions and kind of constrain it just a little bit. We'd like to keep it focused on OS Query and more specifically the future of OS Query. So OS Query going forward. Two days ago on the 18th, we announced, we as OS Query announced that we're creating a foundation within the Linux Foundation called the OS Query Foundation. And the goal of this is really to open up the project to more community involvement and solve some of the problems that everyone recognized with the project stagnating just a little bit. So if everything goes according to plan, the project will be very healthy, right? I think more healthy than it has been in the past. If you go into the past and look at the most healthy point of the project, we want it to become more healthy than that, right? So what is healthy defined? How is that defined? So that's also why we're here today. We want to listen to what you think a healthy project is. So questions so far. Awesome. I'll get through this next part, and then I'll have some good questions. Yes? So it may not be super clear to me. Um, I really like what's happening with the, the project and the community and everything, but I would, I would really like to know what Facebook is going to be. Aha, that's good. Yes. What do they want to do? Are they on board with all this? This will, be, this will be answered, yes. This will be answered and more. Um, so there's one thing that isn't clear in the announcement which is who the technical steering committee is for the foundation. So the technical steering committee, like the TSC, is defined within the charter on the GitHub project OS query slash foundation. So it copies and pastes the license, the code of conduct, and then it adds a new file called charter, which is a prototype of what we want the charter to be. Functionally, it is the charter right now, but in my mind, I think of it as a prototype. So in my mind, I'm, I'm Teddy, I'm Teddy Reed, and I represent Facebook. Uh, Ryan Wilson is always go also going to be here with me, but he had a last minute change and cannot make it. So in that, uh, that TSC, we define, or in that charter, we define a TSC. So we as Facebook, mostly me, uh, <laughs> recommended to the Linux Foundation who that initial TSC should be. And the people that I have up front here represent the choices that I made. Uh, so do you mind introducing yourself really quickly? I think uh, name, what your handle might be, favorite superhero or villain. And, uh, and if you're representing a company, if you're part of a company, like, feel free to, to say that too. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm Zach Wasserman. I previously worked at Facebook from the beginnings of OS Query, and I've been involved with this community since then uh, as a member of commercial organizations, trying to make products with this, doing consulting, and I'm really excited to see OS Query moving to a foundation so that we can better represent the interests of everyone here and everyone who's interested in using OS Query all the way around the world. Hi, um, I'm Victor. Uh, you probably know me as Groove if you hang out in Slack. Uh, my contribution to OSQuery so far has been answering people's questions and trying to help them with their deployment. And previously I worked at Collide. I recently joined the Mac operations team at Google. Um, I am not speaking as my employer or like representing my employer. I'm just here because I've been in the OSQuery community for a long time. Um, so that's kind of like my perspective and I'm still learning what our deployment is and like who's involved and like hopefully uh, I'll come back next year and say, you know, um, that there's a whole bunch of people contributing. Um, but as we're figuring out what the foundation model looks like, that'll hopefully help that, so. Uh, hi, I'm Joseph Sokol Margolis, better known as Seth. Um, so if you see me on Slack, that's me. Uh, I work for Collide, although I'm probably here partially as Collide and partially as an individual because, you know, I hang out in these communities. 
I found OS query through a prior employer when we needed to create a general security monitoring framework, and I'm really passionate about how OS query can act as a tool people use, and I'm really excited to help build sort of community involvement and recover from that. So I'm really looking forward to figuring out what, what this foundation means going forward and how we get there. Um. I'm Alessandro Gallo. I, I'm an engineer at Trail of Bits. I started working here uh, when contributing to, to OS Query, so OS Query is really important for me. Uh, my favorite superhero is Teddy. Oh, I was just happy that someone followed through with that joke. I say I was just happy that someone followed through with that joke. That's all I wanted. <laughs> awesome. So, the last thing I'll say here uh, to just frame the introductions is I tried to be as data driven as possible when I made the decision of who the small uh, committee would be. Some of the things that I took into account were like who's the most active in answering or speaking in issues on the project, uh, contributing code, talking within pull requests, which is also represented as issues, and then also answering questions on Slack. So through all this data I, I put together, and I, I picked the, the top individuals there. One thing I'd like to achieve, so I'll say I a bunch of times, but I am going to exit from this, so I'm trying to just facilitate and hand this over to the community. Uh, I will then be just another community member, as I hope I am seen as today. Uh, so I'm trying to empower this group here to make some, some decisions. You have a lot of technical power. So you can merge commits right now to OS Query. And there are some details like access to the Twitter password, some of the GPG keys, like admin on Slack. That eventually will be given to the technical steering committee and the Linux Foundation. Right now, just because we haven't moved as fast as we want it, like I still have, I still have, I still control those. Um, and then we want to increase this, this set of individuals right now. So if there are people in the community that you think should be part of the technical steering committee, uh, we want to figure out how we make that happen. So one of the questions that you know is on the table right now is, how do we vote on who gets added to the technical steering committee? Right. So everything's on the table. Okay, this is where we open up for questions. I tried to coalesce some concerns and frame this discussion on topics. This is page one of two. If you want to read this here, we could follow an order. We could just go random. I think the discussion will be the best if we try to follow some order. So we pick one topic, talk about that, and then choose to move to the next. We have 36 minutes left. Here is the second page. So let's start here, though. I think the second page is a little bit more open-ended. All right, so what are your questions here? So previously, only Facebook employees could merge pull requests into OS Query. We were the only ones that had the right access. Now the technical steering committee are the people that have the merge access. So they can click the merge button and land things into any repository within the OS Query organization on GitHub. I'm just kind of clear that up. I, I actually saw this as a big blocker to development for the project, uh, having only one company or a small group of individuals being able to merge. So opening it, this up to a larger group, a larger trusted group, is something that I wanted to solve with moving to the Linux Foundation. OK, so questions. Where would you like to start? You had a question about Facebook. So I see, I see one here. So you're up next, and you're on deck. Um, and then I'll stop talking. Maybe you guys can answer. I think this first question I'll be able to answer, though. Uh, so how is Facebook going to continue to be involved? I think for a long time, our motivation was to be seen as just another contributor to, to OS Query. And the needs and wants that Facebook had, we would weigh against the needs and wants of everyone else. Um, obviously, in practice, this, isn't, this is hard to keep. Uh, so hopefully that this moves us into more technical enforcement of that. So as Facebook is just uh, one of the people that are involved, I would encourage the project to be a little bit disruptive to Facebook's needs and move towards what you want. So define a vision for OS Query and move that vision forward. And then Facebook will sign up to stay involved uh, as best as we can. 
We have a lot of people working on the project, so I think it's fair to say like Facebook figure out how to merge those changes back instead of trying to cater towards Facebook to make sure that those changes are easy, right? So committed to merging these things, yes, but don't feel like you have to pay special treatment to us. Yes. Yes. Say that again. Yes. Yes. Uh, will this be the foundation for Facebook's internal usage? Yes. We would like to see the GitHub organization OS Query and the project OS Query be the upstream and what we use internally. Yes. I'll try to stop talking now. I think Ted had a couple of folks queued up. Yes. I, uh, I'm from Optix, and uh, we've done a significant amount of OS query work for the last 10 months, but did not have the opportunity to merge. Uh, thank you. Uh, so there's going to be a significant chunk of work we would want merged to uh, the main line, right? And there are also architectural decisions we have made, which may not just be PRs, but which committee or who is going to be deciding at that level architecturally whether this is a way we should do something in OS query, right? And after that, if we have 200 PRs coming in, it, how does it, all that work on day one, right? It's gonna be a significant chunk from multiple people waiting to be merged. How do you, how do you plan to manage that and how is that gonna work? I, I mean, I, maybe I'll start by saying I don't know yet. You know, okay. this is the first time the four of us or five of us have actually ever met or begun talking about this. And I think one of the first things we need to do is find ways of answering that question, right? What are our expectations for how that works? What is the process for how that works? Um, I think also probably some of the work in OSQL will provide a bit of a path for that. Um, curious what he has to say about that. Yeah. Yeah, we, when we started working on SQL, our uh, aim was to empower the community. So we already have some infrastructure uh, like continuous integration. We, we always wanted to have an office hours which is uh, uh, community driven so that uh, people can uh, talk about things and get things started. Of course, there are not many, peop not many people right now, uh, but we, I'm sure you can find a way to uh, hear everybody and make sure that the development is uh, pushed mm -hmm. forward. I'm sure there'll be a process, but just want to be a transparent process where we discuss the architecture, where we propose something. We have done some work, significant amount of work, and has been running in our customers' networks for uh, you know quite a while, a lot more than a year. And we want to discuss that at a level in a transparent manner where we can then decide, you know, architecturally it's a good approach or a bad approach to merge. Because with, when Facebook was doing it, there was not much of that discussion happening, and I hope that. Now it's a committee and we can have a scheduled. Uh, yeah, of review. course, we have to make sure that uh, everything uh, goes through uh, a review from uh, as many parties as possible. Because we talk only PRs here. I think there are bigger issues than just a single PR. There are larger issues we need to talk about architecturally, how we want to take OS query forward. So I would like to see some committee or some you know, involve a uh, few more people. Uh, to make that kind of decision. PR is the easy thing to do. You review if it's good, it, it merges, but. Yeah, of course. Uh, so. Yeah, so. Oh, so Andrew, didn't we do some work on principles, like design principles recently? Uh, Last year, I think yeah. Lauren wrote that document. Yeah, we had some, yeah. we had some uh, principles around how to use it. <laughs> yeah, last year we, edited the documentation for OS Query to establish sort of a rules of the road for committing to the repo. So there were some standard steps to take if you're going to commit like new features as opposed to just bug fixes around like warning people that it's coming. Um, I think like one of the first steps was to commit like a almost like a proposal of like what you're planning on building before you do it so that people can actually give feedback to that proposal as opposed to code that's already committed that you've already like done a ton of work on. Um, if Because there's been like a pause in committing PRs that became obviously impractical. So we'll probably have a backlog of things that don't happen that way, but maybe moving into the future we can just make that formalized process more 
followed in order to make sure that like moving into the future, there's discussion before people commit hours and hours of work and, and lines of code. Um, yeah, I just want to add that we've been kind of um, on the pers from the side of like we had developers who were capable of contributing to this query, but or like reviewing PRs, but having a single gatekeeper from the other side made that process very difficult because like I can review I can review the PR, but uh, if I don't have merge rights, like somebody else has to also review my PR. So uh, I think most of us here understand that very well. And um, our goal is like not to be gatekeepers, it's to figure out what a good process for contribution is. And there's, you know, if you, if you are in charge of development and have a lot of uh, domain knowledge and a lot of technical expertise, there's no reason you shouldn't have commit rights, maybe like not immediately, but as we figure out what this process looks like. Um, and I do think for architectural changes specifically, uh, we need to have you know, a good blue, uh, I think Ghostquery called them blueprints, but like we need to have a good RFC process for how to do something like that because, you know, if you, if you just add a table, then it's there. But if you change something that somebody else depends on, like you have to do that in a way that doesn't break them. And uh, just like as a personal bias, Ghostquery is already a very large project. I'll, I'll kind of touch on, on this in my talk um, next, but um, it's, um, Every time you add something, like you have to also maintain it, and so like we're, if we want to keep growing OS Square, you also have to have to keep growing the people who have commit and all that and figure all that out. Next question. Uh, so I noticed that OS uh, GitHub.com slash OS Query slash OS Query uh, is uh, moved over from Facebook slash OS Query uh, is that what's decided on as the base of this new foundational project uh, and why that as opposed to OSQL, uh, you know, are we deciding on a single build system? That, that decision has not been made. So partly we're here, I, I mean we're all here right now with this announcement having been made this week and with this committee that's sitting here understanding that we're in this position now as of this week and we want to understand what the needs are of the community and what's going to best benefit everyone. So I, my understanding, and maybe Ted can correct me if this is incorrect, but my understanding is that the move from the Facebook slash OS Query repo to the OS Query slash OS Query repo is representative of the handing over of the OS Query brand and vision and future to the community. So we now have commit access. Like Ted was saying, we now have commit access to that repo. And uh, you know, as committers to that, we're interested in hearing what the needs are and the desires are of everyone here so that we can use that to craft the new vision for OS Query. And, and you know, what the base branch of that is, is a, the, perhaps the biggest open question right now. And I'll just say that, you know, uh, Trail of Bits is the company that has contributed the most code in the last year and, like, has worked very hard on this. And, like, we all realize this and we all want to work with them and making sure that, like, I, personally, I would like to see the OS SQL work go into this project. But even, you know, discussing this with Alessandro over lunch, we don't yet know what that's going to look like exactly. And, um, the Trailbits folks have a lot of say in this because they have the technical expertise on this particular subject, like the build system and the CI and so on. So maybe you can say. Yeah, so I think that it doesn't really matter where we are going to uh, end up uh, merging the code, whether it is one repository uh, or the other. Uh, I think the question is uh, whether we should use one branch or the other, like master or experimental. Um, we really have to uh, talk to the community on this and see uh, what's the, the best approach going forward. Uh, we just made sure that on the technical side, we are ready, whether we choose one way or the other, by implementing uh, tests and continuous integration and doing some maintenance. I, I guess my follow-up question to that was, uh, 
uh, regardless of what's picked as the base, whether it's OSQL or the current, uh, you know, or experimental in OS query, uh, is if OSQL would still exist as a separate fork. Um, and regardless of, you know, certainly everybody seems dedicated to making sure it's whatever the community wants. Uh, is the will the focus remain on having a single unified project that we can all work on together and not separate efforts? Yeah, I think this was the intention from the start to be able to contribute to a single repository. Thank you. Um, okay, so I had I had similar questions and to follow up on that. Um, so you are a panel of folks who have other jobs mostly. So um, I kind of just want to know as a community, right, we had a dedicated team at Facebook. How will you guys plan to dedicate that time? And then when it comes to defect and prioritization, how are we as a community, can, how can we support you and how can we make sure there's a process that's understood of when and where we'll see stuff moving forward? So I have coworkers who are looking for guidance for which upstream to contribute to. I also have friends in the community who work at other companies who have that. And like I, I personally will not be writing C++ code. Um, I will help with um, some of the table schemas and like um, other things like that that I have domain expertise in. C++ is one of them. Uh, but I will help find folks who do. And like that's kind of like where I see my personal um, goals. Is obviously like Zach wrote a lot of the O square code and knows how to write O square code, so he has a different perspective probably, and so does Alessandro. But like, um, yes, we all have day jobs, and some of those day jobs do involve O square at least part time, and we're also dedicated to the community and the the project itself. Like I hang out in Slack in my free time because I enjoy helping others with. The project, and, yeah. I mean, I'll also add that from my perspective, we had a dedicated team at Facebook, and we haven't had that team for at least a year. I mean, in the times when Ted was actively working on OS Query, we had that. We had a team that rallied around Ted and did a lot of those things. And and from my external perspective, priorities changed at Facebook. But what we're giving, what we're being given now, is the opportunity to take this thing that has stagnated and reinvent it. So I think it's a great question. I wish I had a better answer. And I think we're in a hard position and we're just gonna start working our way out of it. So we, as folks in the community who benefit from OS Query, who run businesses or run products around OS Query, need to invest ourselves. And we as a committee will do everything we can to make sure that folks who want to invest in this project and, and want to help bring this thing into the future and, and make it grow and make it work for everyone's needs, that you're empowered to do that and you're motivated to do that. And you know we'll put in as much as we can ourselves, but we as a community need to figure this out. I, th I think one of the parts of your question and, and also one of uh, the parts of Uma's question is around how do how does input happen for large decisions for things that are bigger than a PR? How does that happen? And you were said how how can the community get involved? And you know, as I think Group mentioned earlier, OS Query itself used a blueprint process once upon a time, and I think we probably have to develop something like that for the you know. I don't know, to, to make up an example, right? Someone says, oh, we need to change thrift out. How do we do that? What does a new event model look like, right? That's a, that's a pretty big architectural decision that people who aren't me probably have strong opinions on. So it, it's on us to try and facilitate and get input on that so that people can be heard, make advice, and then ultimately someone has to decide that. And whether that's a community vote, a community vote um, moderated by us, or whoever the technical steering committee is at that time, I don't know. You know, I, I think we'll have to find find an answer to that. Um, I think somewhat there's probably existing projects that we can take guidance from. Um, so I mean, we'll kind of find out as we get there. 
Just one thing to add, because I don't think everybody in the room knows. Um, there is a biweekly office hours. Previously, Facebook um, held that, and now Trail of Bits has taken uh, um, the organizing of it. And um, you can come in and voice your opinion. And um, I think now they're also recorded and put on YouTube, which is a really great improvement. Um, so yeah, if you if you have opinions and you want things done or like you need attention in a specific area, you know, go and talk to people who are in the office hours. Um, yeah, I just wanted to publicize that it's it's out there and it happens every two weeks. Alessandro, how many people from Trail of Bits work on OS Query that aren't client billable? Uh, we or we always have a couple, at least a couple of people working on it. I think that answers yeah. Tanya's question. Then. Yeah, but I mean, the, the biggest uh, blocker uh, usually is just uh, the fact that no one is able to provide uh, code reviews. Uh, but there, are, there, are, there is one person of, or five person being able to push the merge button, the blocker is actually the code review. So uh, the biggest help we can have in the community is actually code reviews. Um, I had a question relating to the release structure. So currently, binaries that are built are uh, hosted by Facebook and the ones that support digital signatures are signed by Facebook. Is there a, a plan for what will happen when this transitions to being built by the foundation? Uh, I, I'm answering this because I sign a lot of binaries for Collide. Um, I would expect eventually the foundation will start building and signing. Uh, it's a little premature. We, we only just started existing, but certainly that's my expectation. Yeah, we would like to uh, provide as less disruption as possible, of course. And Teddy will be able to answer more about this. We already built into uh, our uh, branches, if we end up using them, uh, the support for um, doing uh, signing in a good way. So I, I think technically this is achievable because right now all the configuration comes from a C name pkg.osquery.io, so that is now owned by the Linux Foundation. Um, and I have the, the private keys for the GPG keys. I'm going to give them to the Linux Foundation. If you want to use a new private key, let's, let's say something that's generated in a cloud HSM uh, that's never been like touching my last pass, uh, I mean, that's a, that's a good thing to discuss, but that will be disruptive. Um, yeah, I think you know, this is a good technical discussion we can have in Slack. But yeah, it's technically achievable, absolutely. While we're moving the mic, I'll just add that from my perspective, making sure that the entire community is using the same repository, that we're all working from the same master branch, and that we have a canonical set of releases is a big priority. And I think we'll get there. Cool. Um, like, what is the connection between you guys and the Linux Foundation? Like, what is the interaction you have with them? Do they provide like resources for the project? Eddie, uh, I haven't spoken with anybody. Uh, like, what is uh, the interaction between like the Linux Foundation and the PostgreSQL? Like, does the Linux Foundation provide them resources? Like, what what actually happens between those two? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. I don't know concretely what's available. Um, I think on one side, they absolutely own the trademark, the licensing, and from a legal perspective, OS Query. From a, can we get project management resources? Can we get technical resources? Can we get funding? I would assume the answer is going to be no, we're going to have to provide that ourselves. I will have a more concrete answer that I will share in Slack, uh, probably within two weeks, yes. Do they, uh, oh, sorry, do they manage any other large projects? Oh, yes. Yeah. Kubernetes. Kubernetes, Hyperledger. Yeah. Um, so, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so for the very curious ones, there's a podcast called the Google Cloud Platform Podcast, and they recently had an episode with somebody high up in the Linux Foundation describing how projects end up in there and uh, what that looks like. So I recommend listening to it. I think, so Facebook has experience 
uh, moving GraphQL into Linux Foundation. And for that, we made some tweaks. We did start it out with, if you wanted to be part of that foundation as a member, as a formal member, uh, you would have to commit some funding. And that gives that foundation a bit of resources to buy things like the Slack, to buy AWS and other hosting, uh, hosting for the CI and so on and so forth, for the renewal of the domain. Right now, we have some Kickstarter funds that we've put in there, so none of that breaks. But going forward, it would be awesome if we could decide how to fund this initiative on its own, right? So people don't have to come in and, and save the day, right? Which is, what happening, which is what's happening right now. I am going to move this to the next person who's going to ask a question. Here you are. Uh, as the ownership changes, does the licensing model change that can impact the distribution of OS query and various folks? Like, you know, today it's duly licensed with Apache and uh, GPL2. Moving forward, it's going to be the same, or are any changes expected in that area? I think nothing will change in the license. OK, thanks. So recently there was a uh, security vulnerability in OS Query that um, Facebook um, released a, a patch for and a new release for, for Windows specifically. And it kind of brings to mind, um, I'm curious how um, the Linux Foundation model works with sort of bug bounty programs and sort of some of the internal secrecy that's required to sort of vet vulnerabilities internally before they're publicly accessible and sort of working through that release process. Do you guys have any uh, thoughts around that aspect of, uh, you know, competent releases around security and how to vet those, those vulnerabilities? Uh, so recently GitHub updated some of their uh, workflows that made this process a little bit easier. They have a specific security page where you can, uh, you can say how you want to be notified and you can say, here is you know, an issue that everybody should be well aware of. And um, you know, I'm not speaking for anyone except myself, but I would like us to see using that. And then uh, we also, in our day jobs, have um, resources that we can reach out to about um, a lot of these issues. I mean, we, uh, we all use OS Query and deploy it internally. And so we're hypersensitive to those kind of things. Um, so Facebook is still developing OS Query. We still have a lot of people working on it. And we'd be more than happy to continue to be, uh, to provide bug bounty services for this. So if anyone has vulnerabilities going forward, report them to us. And the, the project will stay in scope for our bug bounty until we have a good solution. If we never come up with a good solution, I think you know, keeping Facebook's bug bounty as the bug bounty for OS Query is totally doable. Yeah. I think there's probably maybe an undercurrent as well of we have yet to define what communication channels look like, right? So what is the process for reporting a bug in OS query or a security or a sensitive bug? Like, I don't know yet. We haven't made that. Um, so it's sort of, I don't know. It's an interesting question. I imagine Slack. I imagine email. Maybe Hacker One. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Teddy, I just want to say thanks for uh, making that commitment. I think it's a really big deal. Um, I think that's a, a huge step forward. I think it'll give people a lot of confidence in the project. So thanks for, for, for making that. Um, <clears throat> hi. Um, to build on that, I just want to thank everyone actually on the platform for uh, helping the community grow to where it is today. Um, it wouldn't happen without you know every single one of you. Um, I guess my question is more general, uh, if you don't mind. I know we have a lot of tools and guidelines and um, intelligent folks that are very active in the Slack channel, um, but is there a plan to publish any sort of guiding principles when it comes to um, like voting structure on what is in the scope for community involvement, for voting on uh, functions, structures, uh, release schedules, code styles, um, pull request priorities, uh, functions, extensions, any of that. Um, is there a plan to bring that onto the agenda for uh, people to participate? Uh, and then the second question is really just more general, like, 
uh, I would be curious to know what are your uh, opinions on what is more uh, practical to listen to everyone versus what is more uh, realistic to just survey a group of experienced users from their uh, opinions. Thanks. Uh, I'm holding a mic and I care about this, so I'll answer. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, I sound a little bit like a broken record because I don't know yet, um, and I think kind of defining that is a first order of business. Um, a model that I see uh, the Go language using, which I like, is sort of this, you know, people make a proposal, there is extensive discussion about it, and ultimately someone decides. Uh, but I think a key part of that to me is the discussion and opportunity to comment, vote, discuss, which isn't uh, necessarily, you know, there's not like a, okay, everyone, big community vote now. I don't know that that makes sense, but I think it's important that there's sort of a comment period, and I don't know how to balance that, and I think that's an interesting thing for us to define and figure out, and I think, you know, that's, that still sounds like a theme, right, of like, what is the process for making these decisions? How do they get raised? Where does that discussion happen? Um, I'm sort of curious, maybe by a show of hands, like, how many people want to see this in email versus Slack versus like GitHub issues or something, right? Like who wants to see email? Who wants to see GitHub issues? Okay, is there something else that maybe I'm not thinking of? Yeah, they're not, they don't feel like a good archival storage of like that, but they're absolutely a great interactive. And not, not the same. <laughs> GitHub issues are in some ways more publicly accessible as far as archive goes. Um, you know, the Linux kernel still uses email, but that's not something that is easy to have a day-to-day -day conversation. Oh, oh, I'm going to repeat that back so it's in the, in the recording, right? You're saying that um, uh, GitHub issues are more discoverable and more, and more visible than that. Uh, some projects do still use email, the Linux Foundation, uh, the kernel being one. Uh, Golang is another one, though. They also use GitHub issues. Um, and yeah, sounds like the room is generally pretty disinterested in email and pretty interested in GitHub issues. Um, the IETF is very email focused. <laughs> so, anyhow. We could use IRC. <laughs> and going back to Tony's original question, I think a big priority of right now, while we're really eager to get the progress moving on lines of code committed, you know, bugs fixed and new features added to OS Query. I think a really big priority at first will be defining what the goals are of this project, what the vision is, what the processes will look like so that the expectations are clear to the community. And I think that in a lot of ways we've been living under kind of a benevolent dictatorship of, of, of Facebook's rule of this project. And, uh, <laughs> You know, we've had some really smart people like, like Ted making good decisions for a long time, and I think we need to define how these processes are going to work moving forward, and no decisions have been made yet about these things. So, you know, we're here to solicit your opinions about what kinds of, of charters and, and visions and goals we need to set, and where those will be set, and how, and so we want your input. And, Surely you'll be hearing from us soon on Slack and other venues where we can make these kind of announcements that we're looking for people to join us in conversation about how we can start defining these things. Um, and there was a question about like what the vision is and how realistic some of the things are. Uh, OS Query is a huge, huge, pro very complex project as Zach has demonstrated with like um, some gotchas here and there. And um, I think personally I feel like the, the thing that OS Query is lacking is um, the ratio of developers to users. So if you, if you do have opinions and you have resources or you know people who are technically interested, you know, encourage them to join the discussion. And I don't mean just like code. Like uh, I've, people can write code that does bad things, right? So having OS Query runs on Linux, Windows, Mac OS and a bunch of other uh, platforms and uh, having the domain knowledge about something like systemd versus launchd and um, how to expose a table. Like somebody opens a, you know, an 
new pull request to adding a table, like you're discussing the schema. Uh, if you see something that looks odd, like you know, please get involved in the conversation because the person writing the code might have a perspective specific to a system, and uh, yeah, people just need to speak more, and the project will be better from that. So don't don't look at us for having answers. Like if you have an opinion or an answer, please go and find a way to say it. Maybe one thing I want to just piggyback on onto that. I think when people talk about resources, they include your time. So if you are sitting there reading some code or a PR and you have an opinion, just say it. Yeah, um, I wanted to first of all say, uh, or put in a vote, I guess, for uh, seeing, as Zach talked about, uh, a single base for OS query moving forward. Um, I'd love to see uh, which is the other part of something I'd like to see, which is uh, active and clear communication. Um, so uh, we've heard uh, a lot about sort of uh, many potential ways forward, um, you know, potential options for governance models, uh, soliciting of feedback, um, and, and as we've all, I think, experienced in one way or another, and, and as you talked about, um, through Facebook's benevolent dictatorship, there's been sort of this languishing of OS query, uh, and it hasn't always necessarily been clear uh, when things would happen. Um, so I encourage and ask for uh, as much clear and transparent and active communication from you as the foundation moves forward, uh, as you can manage or as you can spare, um, because there has often been questions of is what I'm doing even going to make a difference? It doesn't seem like anyone's listening. Uh, which isn't really a question, but thanks. I mean, I yes. <laughs> I think the technical steering committee is like the first, the part of answering that. And how that happens is TBD. Hey guys. Um, just on the future of OS Query moving forward, I'm very interested in what each of you believes is the sort of priority that either you want to focus on or collectively should be focused on the project. Uh, I have, I'm very biased about this, but I, I think OS Query is too big and I'd like to see a way for people to easily add um, tables that are third party and be able to deploy them in their environment, like anybody can build them today, but deploying them is another question. So um, like that's an area that I'd love to work on and I've brainstormed a bunch of stuff and other folks in the past. Um, so like that's my personal opinion. I'd love to see that. I'd also like to see what O Square looks like on a platform like uh, Mac OS in 1020 and Chrome OS where you know, O Square doesn't, doesn't run as root doesn't have those permissions, like um, can we, like OS Query is a great idea, that's why we're all in this room. So can we take some of the things that OS Query does, like the tables idea, the event log schema and all that, and can we formalize that in a way where a tool on a different platform um, can still expose data in the same way? Like those are just some ideas that I've been brainstorming, uh, but I think what I want to see in the next six months is a stable release of OS Query. Um, to me, probably the most important short-term-ish things are not technical in their nature, but again, they're about defining what the community process going for. Like, like what is the development process of OS Query? And that, I, actually, I think, is not a small task, and I'm sort of excited about that going forward. After that, I think there's a bunch of really interesting technical questions, as, as Grub is talking about. OS Query is very large. So how does it stay like a large monolithic thing? Does it split into a, a smaller library model? You know, everything in a standard library versus a tight standard library? I don't know yet. Um, it's sort of stuff that I think is going to be really, really important going forward. For me, on the technical side, we may add additional things like fuzzing uh, and so on. Uh, but yeah, as Seth mentioned, I think the most important thing to do right now is not technical. Yeah, I mean, these, these, guys, these guys have said it. Uh, we just want to restore momentum to this project 
and then allowed the community of all these smart and excited people to figure out what are the capabilities that we need and how do we bring them to our own organizations and to the other people that we're yet to bring into this community. Maybe actually one thing I, I think we're lacking is a vision for OS Query the product and a vision for OS Query the foundation. So I mean, I have my own ideas there, but you know, this is not something we've discussed, like, like we, any of us. So I don't know what the OS Query product vision is and if there are use cases we can enumerate and build towards. Cool, so I'll end with a, what are the next steps? So I think this has been a great way to seed a bunch of questions, get everyone thinking. Let's move this discussion to Slack so we can include the rest of the people who aren't here right now. And then we'll put together an agenda of topics that we can all try to discuss. And one of those being what's, how do we discuss this going forward? So be on the lookout for that. The next thing, I, the last thing I'll mention as next steps is to get more people on the panel a lot of people are shy and humble. These are great attributes. So if you know someone who you think should be on the panel, please nominate them, right? And so how do you nominate? This is something that we'll, we'd like to discuss going forward too. So don't, don't think that people are gonna raise their hand and, and ask to be on the panel. I think you should look at the community and who has been very influential and helpful. Who do you trust on here? And you should try to nominate them, right? So that's the only thing I ask. So thank you for giving us some time to be up here. Any last remarks? Yeah, and I'll just add a thank you to Ted and the folks at Facebook who are making it possible for us to transition the core project into something that's fully community driven. Because I think that we were, we were approaching this place of a real fork and a divide and we were gonna lose the de facto standard for what is OS Query. And I think we now have the opportunity to bring that all together and shape it. And, and I, I just really appreciate the work that went into doing that. So thanks, Ted. So I helped out on the back end, but a lot of work went in from a lot of people in the front end to kicking this off. So I just kind of helped shepherd it along at the end. So there's a whole group of people that you should be thanking. I'm just here to represent them. You're representing Facebook. <laughs>